was a second home to me. It's where I learned to play. And his personality really helped create a space where a bunch of honest misfits could all gather and feel safe. He was a cynic, a supporter. He was crazy. He was queer. He'd either yell out, cut the bullshit, or he'd say, I'm glad you're here. And it was always such an honor to have Ami on my side, that's why it hit me like a Mack truck when I found out that he died, yeah, it hit me like a Mack truck when I found out that he died. Then enter Alex, 33 years old, so sick with the cancer and trapped inside a body that betrayed his real gender. We all hoped and prayed that he would go into remission long enough, just long enough to complete his transition. He said, Kim, yeah, did you know Eleventeen's my favorite song? I said, then get your ass on stage right now and you can sing along. That's the very first song I ever wrote all by myself. It's about angels and recovery and friends and hope and health. By the time we finished singing, he was pissed off, he was scared. He said, I lost my home, my lover, my insurance, and my hair. And now 
I'm about to lose you to my new friend. I looked into his big blue eyes and said, we'll meet again. Yeah, I looked into those sad blue eyes and said, we'll meet again. Then I got the phone call from Melissa. She told me he was dying by the time I got to his bedside. We were both already flying. We held hands and we sang songs, tried to be strong, floated around while I cursed the skin that he was in for all the ways it let him down. Yeah, I cursed the skin that he was in for all the ways it had let him down. But at the same time, I was taking my own body for granted. First I lost sight of my feet, then they became unplanted. And I never felt so stupid or so selfish or so sad. Yeah, my body had been good to me and I treated it so bad. Yeah, my body had been good to me and I treated it so bad. Then he said, Mama, I don't want my friends to watch me die. So I kissed his cheek, made him a shirt. And then I said goodbye, and they cremated him in the shirt that I drew of the two of us that said they're flying over you too. Now the silver pink ponies have my homie in their crew. So I tightened up my laces and knew what I had to do. I started walking again. Started walking again. I miss my friends. I started walking again. I started walking again. I miss my friends. Walk like thunder. Walk like thunder. Walk like thunder. predisposed to systematically clinging together in the cold. Though the measure of a pack is not a question of the whole, but the individuals that bottle them into the fold. Though the Mars Black Sabbath, news from the Ministry of Make Believe, the reach of tarmac in Minneapolis, Middle Sea. Yesterday, the self sun is just for growing baby teeth, sending a rave in radiated vacancy. Wait, two years ago, a friend of mine called me to read a plot all in the decon. I'm at the hospital in 24 and knowing through the future. I take it everybody knows the future. Antibodies hatching in a hell of back with no room to maneuver. The disappearing pills into the masticated fuchsia. I asked you how you feeling. You told me like a robot. I gave you a Nintendo. You gave yourself a mohawk. You let us wheel you down beneath the leaning tower flow charts. To be around your beats without a beeping sound of Bogart. And speak about whatever people speak about when nobody's acknowledging the obvious disease about the crowbar in the plane slow comatose and baggage from king of hearts to carry in for jackals and then we got to sing a song his own swan song right coincidentally the rebel in me walk like thunder walk like thunder